They're going to invoke the Leptis and gain unimaginable powers, dude. Ah, this door leads to a shortcut that will allow you to catch up with them. Now hurry! Hello, this is Beaver House Productions, and welcome back to the Rayman 3 HD commentary. I am Bikini, your glorious and efficacious host, and these are my co-hosts, Joe Cubed. And, uh, we have a special guest host this week. Um, Alex, say hello. Hi! Hi! Alex is my boyfriend, and he is in our videos now. At least yeah, this curious, week. Curiously, you really Alex. awkward while you're saying that. Oh, Alex. no. <laughs> I've never had to say that before, much less on YouTube. Alex, yeah. is, my, Alex is also my SO as well. What? what? No, no, no. Alex is your waifu. Alex <laughs> is my waifu. <laughs> no. Okay, so, um, uh, are we all just going to ignore the fact that Rayman is riding in a shoe? Well, no, that's not- you don't question that. Yeah. It's Jonah. Jonah. Yeah. That's mine. Remember when you asked me who my wife who was? Yeah? I- I don't have one. But I think, uh, my brother said that I have a husband, though. Even though I'm not even gay. <laughs> Joe, you don't have to be gay to have a husband, though. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess it's Miles Edgeworth. Okay. <laughs> Liam confirmed. Liam confirmed by curious. I mean, Joe confirmed by curious. <laughs> no, it's just every time. Liam Miles and Edgeworth Joe confirmed to be the same person. Everything he does is just so awesome for some reason. That Joe, I just... con Joe confirmed by curious weeb. <laughs> oh yeah, by curious weeb. <laughs> <laughs> you should change your username from Whipples to by curious weeb. So you know what I? So you know what I just noticed? What? This week's footage looks like shit. I think I fucked up my recording settings. Man, we'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm we'll not doing it. it again. Yeah, yeah this was it. a good recording too. It only took like 15 minutes. Next time, just just don't just don't lodge the controller firmly up your ass while you're playing. Uh, Josie, like, have you ever tried to play Rayman not doing that? It's pretty impossible. Yeah, you, that's the only way to play Rayman Three. I, 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 I have never played. Usually, well, the nice yeah, thing is, I try, I try to get the rumble, the rumble controller, so it's more, more fun and entertaining. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> that reminds Maybe me. You would find that entertaining, wouldn't you, Fishbill? Oh, there, <laughs> there was this video game. There was this mu music video game. It basically involved, uh, uh, you got. It had this like rod that let you feel the music. Like it was oh. like a vibrating rod. I can that feel it. The music. <laughs> I yes, bet too. you can. No, and I, but that was mostly used for. It probably not the game. <laughs> I, I don't know where the, I, I I I I don't know what this game is, but I suddenly you know, want it. I actually I actually used to have that game, but for some reason someone threw out the rod, and I don't really know. <laughs> for <laughs> some reason. I hope I they hope just I, threw it out. Yeah, okay. I hope Girlfish 2013 never watches but this. Jonah, it got on. lost. <laughs> Jonah, Miles Edgeworth is so great. How could you not be attracted to him? Well, I know, right? 
<laughs> well, wait, so is is he like um, John Barrowman? You, you just need to play like, especially the the games after the first Ace Attorney, like Ace Attorney two and three, and his investigations games. He's just so freaking awesome. He, he's such he, a like, jerk, though. <laughs> he's a jerk in the first game. After that, he's not. Actually, my first my first Ace Attorney game was Miles Edgeworth, actually. Aw, oh, dude, then how can you say he's a jerk? He just knows what's what, and he knows... And he, so and he fakes evidence and does some horrible stuff. And not in Edgeworth! <laughs> that is the first game. I beat every single Ace Attorney game. Fuck you. So, so, Joe, you and Alex were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! before we started this. Alex said that he plays Fire Kings, which means he plays a floating asshole called... called Fire... <laughs> Phoenix? Or... Yeah, the what the the high king like, the high king? It's like it's like it's like sacred phoenix Neftis except for monsters. So every time <laughs> it blows up, it just comes back and then blows up all your monsters for nothing yeah, all exactly. day every day. Wait, Josie, all you know about cards are based around blowing him up. <laughs> Josie, you, you you know about um you know about Yu Gi Oh. Can you explain what this what all this stuff is for us plebeians? <laughs> yes. And you flip one a card piece, over, piece, stuff happens. One piece of cardboard goes on the goes on the table and goes boom. Yeah. It, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah, essentially, there's this card. It he is like three thousand attackers and twenty-seven, something like that. The point is, when he dies, he comes back at the end of the turn as long as he was killed by a card effect, which means he wasn't killed in a fight, right? Yeah. So then he comes back, he blows up all the all the other monsters on the field except him, or is it so just on the? But you know what's so, great about that card is that if it blows itself up due to its own card yeah. effect, it co creates like this infinite loop of just fuck you. I don't like. You still get the them. points if that happens, though, right? There's no points. <laughs> Wait, so what's worth more points, Twinks or Bears? Oh, God. oh wow! <laughs> How do you know that terminology? You're like what, fifteen? <laughs> I assume these are homosexual terms that I have no idea about. Look, even Joe doesn't know what those terms mean. And I Joe's know what those like, mean. What, what are you, Joe, aren't you like a year older than I am? No, I'm one year younger than you. Oh. Well, I don't know. All I know Alex, is... Alex, you I, should I, explain I, these terms. I, I, I know power what? bottoms. <laughs> Actually, I know, that's why. I, I, I know. I'm three months younger than you are. Uh, I know. I know power bottoms are featured very closely in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that just killed the conversation. Alex. Like, do, oh, note to Alex, self, note to self do not say the word hero? power. Do not Wait, say what? the phrase power bottom on this show. What was that, Josie? So, Alex, what's your favorite superhero? I don't. Is that bad? <laughs> I don't, man. Okay, so... Alex, you you said you play MTG too, right? Yeah. Okay, so I do you know what Commander is? No. <laughs> okay, basically it's this format where you have a hundred cards and one. Oh, I thought pick, that was EDH or something. Yes, it's also called EDH. So yes, okay. you do know. What, basically, basically there's this program on the internet. You could there's this internet site that will create you a, a random a deck entirely composed of random cards based on a random commander, right? Oh. Yeah, so we make that and then we play online and it's hilarious because you never know what you're going to get and 90 times out of 10 your deck is either overpowered as fuck or just complete <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, that, that sounds like, pretty awesome. It sounds like if you, if you pull that kind of stuff you're just a bum bandit. Though I'm pretty bad at magic anyways. Oh, it doesn't, your skill level is irrelevant because... You play you know, another <laughs> game, you play another game that I don't know, it's like, what is it, uh, Vanguard? Vanguard, yeah, Vanguard. Hard fight Vanguard, i never it's played It's not that. a lie! <laughs> What's Vanguard? <laughs> it's not a lie! That's, yeah, it's, exactly. Uh, I don't understand, but okay. It has a, it has an anime, and it's... Yeah. The, it's the intro is probably, like, the best thing I've ever witnessed. Fat ever. dog in it! It's not made up! <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> Beyblade has an anime, and it's really strange. Okay, what if <laughs> Beyblade had an anime? It, I, I saw something recently that was like a huge ripoff of Beyblade, and then we like comment on it or something. I forget. Yeah, Pokemon? it was. Like, 
No. Oh yeah. And Twilight Princess is like the biggest Beyblade ripoff in history. Oh, for just yeah. because of the spinner item. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know that's DLC no. for Hyrule Warriors now. No. Yeah. No. No. No, and it's got this thing called a princess in it. That was so totally stolen from Super Mario. They invented the word princess. Well, Super oh, Mario that's is, that's a fascist hom is a fascist ho uh, homo, um, greedy, neo-communist. <laughs> why you gotta, think, you gotta think everything about stuff? Okay, so... so. Let's just appreciate for a moment what Fishbill called Super Mario. <laughs> so well, well, we know what to call this episode. If you watch Game Theory, you probably think so too. <laughs> no, seriously, what did he call it? I wasn't paying attention. Basically said that Super Ma Mario was a sexist, fascist, <laughs> greedy neo-communist. <laughs> oh, actually it is. Homo neo-communist. <laughs> Homo neo-communist. Anyway, so... I was gonna say something, but now I can't fucking remember what it was. Thanks a lot, guys. Card games on motorcycles? Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles. Yeah, so why are you- why- why is this like the forest temple? Basically, well, uh, it's it's a level <laughs> called the longest. It's a level called the longest shortcut, which is ironic considering it's one of the shortest episodes of this Let's Play. Yeah. Oh, but, can, um, can I just say yeah, the basically the goal to get through is to collect all the crown items that have just appeared in here, so you can open the door. Can I just, say the, can I just say that the Twilight Princess Water Temple is ridiculous and annoying and stupid? I didn't, yeah. I didn't mind it honestly. It was one of the. Uh, it was like. It was a little confusing, I'll give it that, but... I spent literally two hours figuring out that you could move the stairs to, like, move the water. Has, uh, anyone, has anyone ever even heard of The Legend of Zelda? Okay. It's pretty underrated. No, I remember what it was. Okay, please. So how about that Majora's Mask 3D? Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> okay. Wow, you so, really don't like Majora's Mask. No, fuck you, it's my screen... Oh, fuck you. Okay, <laughs> what I was going to say was... Remember how you used the Link amiibo to get the spinner? Yeah. I have a theory that you used the Captain Falcon amiibo to give Ganondorf his Smash Bros. moveset. <laughs> that would be hilarious, what? actually. What if you used, like, a sword amiibo? No! A sword amiibo to give him sword abilities? No, he, no, has, is, he has a custom ability already to give him sword abilities. Okay. Let's so just say... Let's just say... Captain Falcon abilities. amiibo down, and then, you know, you get, like... Move sets and Hyrule Warriors uh, uh, based uh, on Smash Bros. Uh, uh, let, me just, let me just go on the record, by the way, as saying that I'm really upset about the Amiibo DLC for Mario Kart 8. Oh, you can put these Amiibos down and get costumes for your me based Dude. on those characters. Instead of, you know, those characters. Yeah, when I saw the oh. thumbnail for the Amiibo DLC, all I saw was the back of, like, the Mii's helmet in the thumbnail, and it looked like Kirby riding on a motorcycle. And then I realized, oh, that's just Kirby's face on the back of a Mii's helmet. <laughs> okay. Why, why don't they just make Super Smash Kart already? It makes so much sense. It yeah. does. It's Super Smash Party. Oh, God. Oh, that boy. would actually be really cool. The, the oh. Captain Falcon amiibo is, amiibo is pretty much Captain Falcon in what's, Mario Kart. What's that like Japanese version of Mario Party that's really fun, but we don't have in the U.S. for the most part, for some Mar reason? Mario Party? Uh, no, I, no. I, I was going to say Fortune, Fortune, Street, Fortune Street, but no. Fortune Street, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, oh, we have it here. I was going to say put it here. Kingdom, but I don't know. Yeah, but Fortune Street really isn't big here yet. No, but they did make one here. But it's just so fun. It's like awesome. Uh. Alex is here. Hi, Hi. Alex. So, Alex, oh, yeah. play an awesome weapon. guitar for yeah. us. Ultimate Wait, weapon. I don't have that on me. Oh. The ultimate weapon for Ganondorf's the fist move set in Hyrule Warriors is the Falcon helmet. He just wears Captain Falcon's helmet during the fight. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Alex, though, seriously, like, send me something that you've done recently after this video, and I'll, like, throw it in at the end. Wait, why? Because I want to make you famous, goddammit. But, but no. <laughs> Send no, me we something. Are we are totally like fa like famous Sonics. <laughs> Sonic Boom made us all famous and stuff. Yeah, um, we How made about that Sonic like Boom? Like Sonic, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. What do we have to do? What? 
We have to play Smash Bros. 3DS, or Wii U. We gotta play Wii U, and you can record it. And Unfortunately, put it on I'm not actually getting the game right away because money. I'm not getting it right away. I might not get it at all. Uh, I was going to get it, but I, I was am. going to get the bundle. But I'm stupid Canada made the bundle exclusive. EB Nintendo made the game the bundle exclusive to EB Games, and the entire country sold out by the beginning of the month. But then how am I supposed to kick crap on TV? I mean, on your own channel. I mean, I'm going to get it in December, but I'm not going to get it, like, at launch. Yeah. Because, like, I <laughs> still want the freaking soundtrack, and nothing is going to stop me from getting it. Oh, speaking of that, Bill, I still, no, I still you need are to get, and, I still need to register my thing. Uh, Fishbill, if you are able to get the game, you are getting the game. Shut the fuck up. Jonah, I want to play you! Don't you want to play with me? Uh, -huh. uh Joe, I don't really want to play with a bear. <laughs> oh, or a, I'm, more of, I'm more of a twink guy myself. Oh, oh that, explains why, that explains why you haven't played Five Nights at Freddy's yet. Oh, God. Anyway, we'll, we'll see in the next episode, guys.